Okay guys, I'm back with another portion of this project. Um, you can see what happened here to this uh, striker backing plate. Um, <laughs> somebody tried to uh, stick a big washer in there. I don't think you can see that. Yeah. Anyway, that, the hinges were bad for so long and eventually busted that out. Somebody did try to weld well, it in a couple spots before, but this was just floating around in behind there. So I'm going to try to tack it a few places, and because the actual uh, nut that this strike goes into um, floats around back in there, obviously this is just to keep it somewhat aligned. Um, you know, you can't adjust these if you need to. But again, the hinges were so bad, especially the upper on this car, that um, it eventually busted that out and uh, pretty difficult to open the door. You had to lift and the um, outer handle was screwed up. So I got new outer handles for both sides also. But I'm going to give this a shot, see what happens, see if I can get this to the point where I can adjust the door again. And, uh, you know, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, you guys get the idea of what I'm ha having to do here. Um, really thin metal around that clock face, if you if you will. Um, that's the only thing I can. <laughs> it's probably have, not have 12 spots on it by the time I get done, at least. Um, but uh, started at the top because I got the best fit up there at first, and I was able to uh, clamp that up there. I had to uh, stick that screwdriver in there and uh, you know kind of go around and um, keep pushing that. T took a ball peen hammer and kind of tapped the uh, this outer area. Oops, back towards the the solid piece. So this you know obviously is real thin on this side of the metal and uh, it's kind of difficult. I've got my uh, welder set at about two and a half on the feed speed. Uh, it's on low or minimum um, so uh, just hitting it real light and I'll come back and you can see too somebody tried to uh, weld that crack right there in it at one point so that's what I'm doing right now I'm going to try to tap that back just a little bit more and see if I get that a little more you know better butt joint right there and uh, go ahead and tag that a few more times and uh, grind it down and see what happens. All right, well, there's where things stand right now. There's probably still a lot. There's a slide bolt. And it's not focusing in for some reason. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, you guys work on these. You don't know how all this stuff supposed to work and there is supposed to be another so I'm gonna try putting this back together as a trial run and of course I need both hands right now so anyway I'll uh, set this down for a second okay Got that back in place. Um, just need to find my uh, my uh, Torx or my I'm sorry my Allen socket that fits this. And say so, uh, before let me get around here, I, I had none of this. Somebody had taken a washer about the same size as that opening and just stuck this on here. So it didn't have any in and out and down play to it so I know it's rough right now and but if, if I can close this door and lock it and, and open it without too much truck then uh, you know I'm gonna be real happy and I'll do some more welding on this kind of build this back up grind it down some more smooth I've got a crack right here that I didn't get all the way so uh, I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do a trial run on opening and closing the door Get, see if I can get some adjustment out of it. I think I should be able to now. So uh, uh, we'll see how that goes. 
Okay, so here we go. We got the Camaro. I got new hinges on. Man, it sure makes a pretty loud popping noise. Anyway, we're going to try this and see what happens with it. And there we go. And some junk falling out of it. Um, you can see how bad, see what happened to the handle. You can't still, even though I got that, I'm going to have to reach inside. But before, I had to kick the door open. I need to adjust it a little more, but uh, I think I'm on my way to having that problem solved. Now it looks like it, uh, the uh, strike itself is kind of bent in towards the inside of the car a little bit, which I'm sure is um, quite possible, given the fact that you had to really slam this door before. Now we can almost shut it like a normal car, but. Um, of course, I need all new weather strips around the doors and everything, uh, which is going to be later in the project. But uh, um, getting some progress. So, like I said, I've got a couple new door handles. Um, you see, the other door's off, obviously, because I've been working on that also. Um, she's a project, she's a rust bucket but uh, it's not as bad as it was when I brought it home. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Comment, hate, like, subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your family. Um, just a good old backyard driveway. Well, can't say backyard. Front yard, driveway, garage project. And uh, maybe one of these days, I can show you, see how that thing pops. It's a new hinge. And I don't know why it's popping so bad, but it is. I've got some grease on it. I Maybe mean, it just needs broken. I'm not sure, but uh, hopefully it'll work its way out of there. Uh, I do have a lower hinge for it. Haven't put it on yet. Of course, you can see I've got the whole front end off this thing. Um, I've got a uh, suspension kit coming, um, a steering kit, uh, ball joints, upper and lowers. I've already got the the um, uh, pushings for the A-frames, uh, A, yeah, control arms and stuff like that. Uh, haven't put those in obviously yet, but um, hopefully at some point this thing will look uh, look a lot better than it does right now. It's already got some improvement. So, okay, well, I'm happy. Door slammer. All right.